Hey, how's it going? Nat here with another BTN News Break. The FIFA Women's World Cup is heading down under. Players, officials and fans across Australia and New Zealand have been busy celebrating. Here's Charlotte. You could feel the tension in the air this morning as Aussie players and officials anxiously waited to hear the news. I can announce the host country of the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023, which will be Australia, New Zealand. That's right, the Women's World Cup will be heading down under in 2023 after we beat out Colombia by 22 votes to 13. We did it! There were also similar reactions in New Zealand, who we'll share hosting rights with. I am just so relieved and excited. So how will it all work? Well, the comp's set to kick off on July 10, 2023, and will likely be played at 13 stadiums in 12 cities across both countries. It'll feature teams from 32 different countries and could see an estimated 1.5 million fans through the gates. This tournament will further inspire another generation and provide them with the platform to compete on the world stage. Players and fans are super excited about the announcement and can't wait to welcome some of the best soccer talent in the world to our country. It's yeah. really, really exciting. I'm most excited to see Sam Kerr be good. She's like my favourite woman Australian player. In the past, like, women have really been like, disadvantaged. Like, they haven't been allowed to do these things. It's absolutely so amazing that they're coming. I can't wait to see it. Staying with soccer now, Liverpool has won the English Premier League after a 30-year wait. Fans immediately hit the streets to celebrate the team's 19th league title. Their closest rivals, Manchester City, lost this morning, which meant they could no longer catch the Reds. The players were able to celebrate the occasion without even kicking a ball, as Liverpool won the league with seven games to spare, the earliest title win in the league's history. It may be cold around most of Australia right now, but many parts of Europe have been dealing with a heat wave. Let's find out how people are keeping cool in the summer sun. From Spain to Sweden to Paris and the UK, people have been... They've all had days of temps higher than 30 degrees Celsius. In some parts of northern Sweden, they measured their hottest June day in more than 30 years. And in Spain, it was actually more than 40 degrees. Yep, that's... There's been some great heat combating tactics. Swimming, spray bottles, icy drinks and food. A zoo in London even treated Tinga here to a healthy icy pole to cool down. But it's not just fun in the sun. Authorities want people to be not just sun safe, but coronavirus sun safe. Slightly more space between <laughs> each other, but uh, no, pretty normal, I would say. I think sometimes you forget to, to be careful. People flocked to this beach in the UK to escape the heat, which raised alarm bells with authorities about a possible spike in COVID-19 cases. And no amount of sunscreen can help with that. So police are asking everyone to stay away from the beaches for now which should be easier this weekend because it's forecast to be a lot less hot, hot, hot. All right, let's keep the good times coming and the good news flowing because it's time to celebrate. Woo! In China, Taiwan and Hong Kong, it's celebrations all round with their Dragon Boat Festival kicking off. But arguably more important than dragons are these wonderful balls of black and white fluff. You might remember them, actually. They've been on the show before. One of their names translates to dry hot noodle, and the other one means baked egg pancake. Yeah, you know the ones. But now, the Cubs are celebrating their 100 day anniversary. No, they don't look a day over 99. Now, forget 100 days, try 100 years. This grandma in the US celebrated her 100th birthday from behind a glass wall. But don't worry, her family came out to wish her a happy birthday too. And finally, it's time to celebrate really quietly because this baby gorilla is only one day old. It's only the second time a baby Western Lowland gorilla has been born at this zoo in Belgium, so it's a very special moment. That's all from us this week. We'll catch you again on Monday. See you then.